what do you get when you add art and maths? Huh? Geometric art. Geoma geometric art? Hang on, what's geometry and maths got to do with art? Geometric art is art that is based on shapes and patterns, like geometry and maths. In school, art, maths and geometry are often very different subjects. But in life, they're together everywhere. Everywhere? Even in my house? Maybe even in the room with you right now. <gasps> Take a look around you. What shapes do you see? I see a window. It's a rectangle. This lamp is like a triangle. And my glasses are two circles. And how many of these shapes are exactly the same on both sides? In geometry, this is called symmetry. Symmetry is all around. In tables and chairs, and flowers and insects like butterflies and beetles. Sometimes on faces. When lots of these shapes appear together in a repeated way. This is called a pattern. You might have noticed patterns in your clothes, or on walls, or floors. When a pattern fits together without any gaps. This is called tessellation. Art from the Islamic world, dating back since the 7th century, shows shapes arranged in a huge variety of tessellating patterns that go on and on and on. These designs are used on pottery, wood and stone carvings, carpets and tiles, and used to decorate homes and religious buildings. So geometry has been important for mathematicians and artists for hundreds, no, thousands of years. Yep, and they've all explored these geometric themes of shape, pattern and tessellation in their own different unique ways. The Cubists wanted to show an object as different shapes from different angles. The supremacists use shapes like rectangles and triangles as the main characters in their paintings. Artist Bridget Riley uses shapes and lines to create illusions that play with your vision. This is sometimes referred to as op art, which is short for optical art. The longer you look at her art, the more you might think it starts to move and change into something different. Whoa! Is all geometric art flat like paintings? No, geometric art can be 3D sculptures too. Artist Salwa Rauda Shuker created rectangular blocks that can be stacked on top of one another. A little like Minecraft, but each block is not just a block. They represent an idea from Islamic and Sufi poetry that every part is individual and can stand on its own. They can also come together to make a whole. Another artist fascinated by maths and shapes is Rashid Arain. His sculpture, Zero to Infinity, is made up of lots of wooden cubes that start off as a big square. But he invites you to work collaboratively with other people to touch, move, shift and stack them into something new. Why is it called Zero to Infinity? Well, Zero is just the start and Infinity represents the endless number of forms we could create with his cubes. So the artwork can keep changing and going on and on and on. That's cool. So why is it made that? What's it about? Well, Rashid wants to use art to inspire other people to think differently. He thinks that everyone is equal, just like the cubes. But the world we live in can feel really fixed. The symmetry of the big square at the start represents the world as the set structure, where everyone, like a cube, is forced to fit in and be the same. So, zero to infinity shows us that what may look fixed can actually be changed? Yeah, when you work together with others to break the symmetry, you're transforming it from sameness to freedom and creativity. Rashid wants to show people that if they can work together to make a change inside the gallery, they can do it outside the gallery too. Take another look around you. What shapes can you see now? Whoa, I can see patterns. I can see symmetry. I can see tessellation. And you. Yes, you. Hello. Hello. Look up. Look down. Look all around you. What shapes can you see? What patterns can you make with the shapes around you? And how many ways can you transform the world with geometry?